Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video might be a little bit of a longer one rather than the short, sharp hitting the only the information you need to know. Um, I don't want to go into anything too in depth because I don't want to overload you with information and I don't want to frighten you off. This is why I'm trying to do things as simply and as easily as possible. Now VPNs, there's a lot of um, YouTube content uh, around VPNs. Right, I'm going to ignore all of that and I'm going to recommend you do the following. And I always do this with a brand new setup of MX Linux. So we'll just let this load up. And if you type in your search engine, Proton Free VPN, it will take you to the free version. Of Proton and it's very important you do the free version because if you just get if you just go to the Proton VPN the normal one there you go continue with free if you go to the normal one you'll struggle like mad to find a link to the free one uh, <clears throat> now I've already got an account so I can sign in um, And it's not that, I can tell you for free. And it's not that. Uh, and don't worry, I do have a couple of accounts. So, if one gets hacked, well, I've got plenty of others that I can fall back on. We'll just let it sign in. Okay, here we go. So if we go to downloads, we want to download the VPN for GNU Linux. Okay, so all we've got to do is install, click on the install Proton VPN, and it will tell you how to use Proton VPN on Linux page, which is brilliant. The official Proton VPN Linux app, blah, blah, blah. Come down and click on the first option, Debian. Come down and then all you've got to do is follow the on-screen instructions. And you do that by copying the instructions one at a time and entering them into your Linux terminal. Press Enter job done it's that simple so do not be afraid of the terminal take the second command copy that go to your terminal paste it in press enter enter your password and away it goes now this is just my personal recommendation you don't have to do this it's your choice. Um, if you want to check the repo package integrity, you can issue this command in the terminal. Mm, I know it's genuine, so it's fine. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is run this um, command in the terminal. And again, all we do is paste it in, press enter, and let it do its thing. As we've already put our pseudo password in, it's not going to keep asking us for it. There you go. And then last but not least, <coughs> all we need to do is copy the final command, sudo apt install Proton VPN GNOME desktop and paste that into your terminal, press enter. This is just so much cooler than Windows. But hey, that again is subjective opinion. <laughs> Opinions are like bottoms everybody's got one so let it come down let it install and then it, it will revert back to a very windows-esque experience i would love for mx to include this in the mx package manager but hey they can't include everything now a lot of people will recommend that you use 
OpenVPN. A lot of people will tell you that this is a load of crap. Um, we'll cover that at the end of the video. Uh, so, you also need to download the tray applet. Uh, so again, uh, open your terminal, paste the command in, press enter, type your password in if it asks you for it, and then press Y for yes and enter. And it will install the tray applet. The tray applet is really important because it will give you a visual aid that your VPN is running, that it's connected, and that you are covered. <clears throat> Just while this installs, why is it important to have a VPN? Well, it's important for a lot of reasons, but the main reason um, is to allow you access to facilities that without a VPN you wouldn't normally have. Now, as I've said to you right from the start, I'm coming at this whole series from a family user point of view, and I'm dare betting that you've got quite a few family members that love watching the Netflix or the Amazon Prime or the dodgy boxes or whatever. That's where a VPN really comes into its own. I'm also going to run with the fact that this is a cost of living crisis series. So I'm assuming you don't have 20 grand cash in your back pocket. Either that or, as Dave would say, you're a cheap bastard <laughs> whichever one of those is true uh, you can't go wrong with a free vpn is it as good as the paid vpns no absolutely categorically not but hey this is free it's not costing you a penny so to compare it with a paid version to me is a non-starter it's like being given uh, a free Ford Mondeo and comparing it to a brand new Skoda Octavia. There is no comparison because the Mondeos cost you nothing. Is it as good as a Skoda? No. Will it do the job? Hell yes. And that's what I'm all about. The less it costs, the better it is. Okay, so our VPN is now installed. I'm sure, actually, I need a reboot. Just do a search in your menu for Proton VPN, GUI client, on up it should pop. Uh, I don't want passwords for key rings, no thanks. So here we are, here's our Proton VPN free client. We need to log in. So it's the same login as you created when you created your account. Um, sorry, fingers were spazzing out there. Uh, pop your password in. And you're done. Away you go. Click the login button. It will now log you in to Proton. <clears throat> and you'll be able to go to your uh, web browser of choice and bookmark the Proton uh, homepage and you'll be in. There you go. So as you can see, we are now logged into Proton VP and we have a choice of three servers. Now, if you go onto YouTube, most YouTubers will say, oh, Proton's free VPN is shit because you only have a choice of three. You only need to have a choice of three. The one that I always use the most is the Netherlands. Just do a quick connect and it will connect you. More importantly, your VPN tray applet is up here. So now there's a green tick on it. You know that we're connected to the VPN, which is brilliant absolutely brilliant and it makes a huge difference to your security and to your ability to stream various different streaming websites which I'm not going to go into because some of them are highly questionable of course in total safety and security more importantly your ISP doesn't know what you're doing it knows what you're connected to but it doesn't know what you're doing. It knows you're connected to an internet server in the Netherlands and that's it. Everything else is encrypted. Now I also see a lot of YouTubers saying ah, you don't need a VPN because all websites are HTTPS today and if they're not HTTPS ah, don't connect to them. 
well, that's not really sound advice because you might have a non-HTTPS unsecured website that you download mods for a game from, for argument's sake. So again, a VPN will just give you that extra layer of security and peace of mind. So as you can see, we're now connected to the Netherlands. Let's close that down. We've got a tray applet active. It doesn't matter where your bar is. I'm going to do separate videos on customizing it in basic English. So please don't worry, but I've got to start somewhere. I've already made my mind up. There's going to be a gazillion of these videos. So if we open up our web browser, And we can do a search for who is. Now, the beauty of Proton Free VPN is it covers our whole PC. So whether we're in a web browser or not, whether we're playing a game or not, it doesn't matter. The whole PC is connected. So if we go to who is, uh, sorry, not who is, it's what's my IP isn't it I do uh, apologize it's well it's getting old unfortunately uh, and that's me so uh, we can click agree we're fine so it's telling us we're in Amsterdam <laughs> in Holland and here's the map there you go location not accurate upgrade my upgrade update my IP location yeah that's accurate that's good enough okay so <clears throat> what we'll do now is we'll disconnect. So the VPN is now off. And we'll open a web browser again. Sorry if this is a bit of a longer video, but I just need to get all this over to you. Don't want to overload you with um, information, but let's do a simple internet speed test. Now, this is for me personally. Yours obviously will differ depending on your connection. I live in the middle of nowhere. Let's click on go. Let's do the internet speed test. Okay, it's telling me I'm connected to the TalkTalk Talk servers <coughs> supplied by Vodafone UK in Watford. Mm, okay. Uh, so, yeah. You can allow that. I don't mind them accessing my location. That's fine. Uh, so there you go. We've got 58 meg down. Terrible connection. And 14 meg up. So 58 down, 14 megs up. That is without the free VPN. Okay. So 58 down, 14 up. Okay, let's close that down. <coughs> oh, I've selected Quick Connect, haven't I? Uh, let me click on Show. Did I click it? Yep, it's coming up. It's up. No, it ain't. And it's Quick Connected me to the Netherlands, the Netherlands, Netherlands, which is the one I wanted. So if we now go back into the web browser, and again we do internet speed test remember we had 58 down 14 up now don't forget my primary reason for using the proton free vpn is a it's free uh, and b it's to stream various different things that i want to stream okay so let's now do a speed test with the vpn connected <coughs> Okay, so now you can see the VPN has slowed my internet connection down by very little. Nah. <laughs> it was 58 down, 14 up, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, so it's 57 down, 13 up. I, it, it's irrelevant for watching streams. Um, whereas for some other activities, it might have an impact and it also depends on where you live as well. But again, you'll find a lot of YouTubers that say, oh, 
the free VPN is terrible and it really hammers your internet connection speed. Well, my response to that is bollocks. So before you watch this video, you had no VPN. Now you have a 100% free v VPN with a choice of three servers and it's not severely impacted our internet speed. So that for me is a win, win. Now, it's also pretty important that with Proton VPN, you get a choice of three really, really useful servers. And I'll tell you for why. So uh, if we go disconnect, open our web browser, uh, this is why a VPN is so useful to you and your family. It's not just about being super secure and all that malarkey. Okay, uh, so let's open Netflix now. So this is Netflix UK. I can log into my Netflix. Beautiful. There you go. And this is all the stuff that I have currently have a choice of watching on the Netflix. This is with no VPN active. OK, let's close that down and let's now connect to the United States. OK, we're now connected to the US. Now let's go back to our web browser. And now let's load up Netflix. Remember, normally we'd be on the Netherlands one and that's good enough for us. Have I just selected Twitch? I think I have. No, Netflix. So now you can see we've got a completely different Netflix because we're in the United States version because it thinks we're in the States. So we've now got access to films, box sets and programs that normally in the UK you wouldn't have access to, which is fantastic. So it benefits you and your family exponentially. Um, you know, you can rage on about the debate about VPNs all day long. For me, I just permanently leave it connected to the Netherlands because why not? You're on the MX Linux. It's come down. It's working beautifully. It's not giving you any heartache. It's not difficult to install or set up. And the benefits to you and your family are exponential. There you go. If you've got any questions, please post them under the videos. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.